Matt, thank you. And speaking of housing issues, fundraising efforts are now underway for Amos House. The Providence Family Shelter flooded a week before Thanksgiving due to a sprinkler malfunction. 30 families were displaced from an already temporary housing position, uh, situation at the shelter, which occupies a portion of the former Memorial Hospital campus in Pawtucket. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie has the details on the effort to get the Amos House back up and running. Alex? Well, Pawtucket Fire Marshal Captain David Marshall responded to that family shelter on the day of. He told me after seeing the heartbreaking scene there, he and members of Pawtucket Firefighters Union 1261 wanted to help. A dumpster holds ruined items while storage bins hold what could be salvaged from a flooding incident at the Amos House Family Shelter in Pawtucket where 30 families called their temporary home. And unfortunately it was just a really sad situation uh, to already be homeless and living in a shelter and then have to come home from work or school as kids were getting off school buses, the place is you know, filled with fire trucks. Pawtucket Fire Marshal Captain David Marshall said it was an emotional scene to respond to. To see the fright and the uh, uncertainty on the face of these families. Inspired to do something, he and Pawtucket Firefighters Union 1261 organized fundraising efforts. The union later partnered with the Hotel for Homeless Dogs to accept gift and clothing donations. This was one drop off today. Susan Joseph says donations have been pouring in and in addition to providing Christmas gifts for kids, the goal is to provide the basics for adults. Jackets and winter coats, um, new with tags, are like the biggest thing that we're looking for, anywhere from small up to 3X. And um, I think that that might be one of the most challenging um, gaps that we're going to have to fill. Meantime, Amos House President and CEO Eileen Hayes says three families have found housing, but the nonprofit hopes to build out another portion of the old hospital to house more families in need. Because there are that many families in need. Now, the Amos House says the Pawtucket shelter won't be ready until after the new year. If you want to help those families who were displaced, we have more details on what's needed and where you can donate posted in this story on WPRI.com. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. And speaking of housing issues, 30 families, including more than 50 children, were displaced from a Pawtucket shelter a week before Thanksgiving after a malfunctioning sprinkler caused massive damage. The Amos House says three of those families have found housing, but dozens more are in need. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie has the details on the incident and how their efforts are underway to help those who lost everything. Alex? Well, Megan Shannon, all of those families temporarily moved into an extended stay hotel in Warwick. And due to that water damage, though, much of their belongings were not able to be saved. Pawtucket Fire Marshal David Marshall says he witnessed the fright and uncertainty on the faces of families on November 18th, dealing with one of the greatest challenges of all. To know that now they have to vacate what is a temporary home and not be able to take really any of their belongings with them. For reasons unknown, a sprinkler malfunctioned that day, dumping water into the Amos House Family Center in Pawtucket, located inside the old Memorial Hospital. And they had to terminate power to the building and uh, vacate all those residents. Amos House says 30 families, including more than 50 children, were relocated to hotel rooms. The nonprofit is trying to get the shelter up to code, but says it won't be ready until after the new year. And it's just a tough time. Holidays are hard enough, mm -hmm. uh, but to become once again pushed out of your little bit of world and your one you know room in a hospital room with your family and grabbing what you can to get out is just very very sad together Pawtucket firefighters union 1261 and the hotel for homeless dogs organized a drive for money clothes and toys for the holidays donations have poured in but more help is needed with what we're trying to provide which is everything from Christmas toys and stockings to socks and pajamas and winter coats. It's, it's a very large task. So as lucky as we've been, we have a lot of gaps that we still really need to fill. I'm told some of the most needed donations are for adults, including winter coats, hats, and gloves. We have more details on where you can donate posted on WPRI.com. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.